Hi everybody, Mr. Jesse here. And I'm really excited today because today I want to talk about one of my most favorite Bible verses of all time. And that is 1 John 4.19. And it says, we love because he first loved us. That's the whole reason we were created, because of love. God wants us to love one another. And the Bible even says that God is love. When Jesus was asked what the greatest commandment of all was, he said to love God with everything inside of us. He also said that means loving one another. Love is one of our spiritual fruits. And all the other spiritual fruits actually describe what it looks like to act out love. A lot of times we think of love, we might think of like a cartoon with hearts in its eyes, floating above the ground because it's just so in love. Or maybe when you think of love, you think of the warm feelings you have for your family or friends, which is great. But let me ask you this. Do you think Jesus only wants us to love the people that we're close to? If that was the case, being a Christian would probably be a lot easier. But that's not the case. Jesus asked us to love everybody in the entire world. He even said to love our enemies. No, no need to adjust your speaker. You heard me right. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those that treat you badly. That's kind of crazy, right? But that's the kind of crazy love that God has for us. When God created the first two people, Adam and Eve, they ended up disobeying him, cursing us all with sin. And sin means sometimes we hurt God, but he loves us anyway. So even when we act unloving to each other or him, he chooses to love us first. The kind of love that Jesus has for us is unconditional. And that means he loves us whether we deserve it or not. So if we want to show how much we love God, we love others even if they're kind to us or not. So we were talking about a series recently with miracles, right? The kind of miracles that God does. And love is really the biggest miracle of all. It's so amazing. Like I said, it's the whole reason we exist. So we can choose to love others by doing stuff like doing chores without being asked, sharing with your siblings, even if you really don't feel like it, or maybe helping the neighbor with the groceries. We can love boldly like God by choosing to invite the new kid, the kid who's a little different, or maybe even the rude kid to go ahead and play with you. That's when we're kind of showing the kind of love that Jesus wants us to show. We love others because of who God is, not because of who they are. What can you do today to show the love of Jesus? Let's go ahead and pray together. Dear Lord, thank you so much for your incredible love that just loves us no matter what. When we're doing good, when we're having bad days, we can always rely on your love, Lord. And we just pray your Holy Spirit just fills us with your love and we can express that to others, whether they deserve it or not, because we want to be like you, Jesus, and show your amazing love. In Jesus' name, amen.